All right, so a couple of days ago, I made a video about the new NVIDIA Omniverse Machinima audio to gesture that they just recently added into the Machinima system. And some of y'all wanted to know how you can export these animations onto an Unreal Engine 5 mannequin and MetaHuman. So that's what we're going to be talking about today. Now, I'm not sure if this is the official way on how to do it, but go ahead and check this out. All right, so we're going to go to the Machinima. Again, this is the new version, 2022.2.0 beta. Again, they added the audio to gesture pretty much to take an audio file, an audio clip, and it's going to turn that into body animation. So to get this started, if you haven't seen the video, let's go ahead and do it real quick. I'm going to go to the animation right here, and you're going to see audio to gesture. And as you can see, I already have this chucked off right here. Go ahead and click on that, and a little window right here is going to pop up. Go ahead and click on plus base skeleton. And that's going to create like its own character. So you're going to see that in a T post, which is good. And then what I'll do next is I'll go to animation again and click on retargeting. because so we're going to retarget this to the default skeleton. And I'll just click on a drop down right here and go ahead and move this down. Drop down and then I'm going to click on skeleton right there. And now you're going to see everything is set up automatically. I didn't have to do anything else. It's already there preloaded. The next thing we're going to do is again, click on the A2G offline pipeline. And then it's going to load the Tensor RT engine. Now, if this is your first time doing that, it's going to take a minute. So just go ahead and wait for it. Okay. So once that's good to go, I do have a preloaded audio here already. So I'll go ahead and press play. Beige hue on the waters of so the this is the audio, but as you can see, nothing is happening. Well, that's because we haven't really run the A2G right here. So let's go ahead and press that. Oh. Including now we're going to have queen this character she... animating right here. Now, as you can see, we're going to have two skeletons here now. What I'll do is just delete the other one. We don't really need that other one there, so I'll just delete that. So we only have one, you can see right here. So again, I'll go back to the auto to gesture or and press play. Again. And you, that animation is now working Base strictly the from the, the audio file. Press... Now, this is very useful for me if you're just doing head and shoulder shots because you can actually get some movements on your shoulder, you know, some standing and talking. But they have a lot more options here if you want to go ahead and check that out. They have public speech and they have different audios in here as well that if you want to try that out. And again, NVIDIA Omniverse is free. So go ahead if you want to follow along. But when that, once that's done, if you scroll all the way down right here, you're going to see a record button. Now, I have a really small monitor, so I'm sorry for this. So I can go ahead and scroll all the way down. You're going to see a record button right here. And what this is going to do is pretty much bake this animation into a USD cache, right? So with that being said, what I'll do now is I have this skeleton selected and I'll press record. And then what I'll do is I'll go to that destination path, which is right here. I'll just copy this right here, control C. So what I'll do is I'll just go paste this right here and it's gonna take us to that take four that we just recorded. And what I'll do is I will go back to the stage. I'm gonna drop down the skeleton. I'm gonna drag the skeleton into the timeline right here. And then we can actually drag that animation USD onto that skeleton. And now if I press play, you're going to see that skeleton is now moving around like it should, right? So this is good right here. He's animating just like so. It's at 30 frames per second right now. I'll leave it as is. If you want to change it to 24, that's totally up to you. But for now, this is good. So what I'll do next is I'll click that character now and I'll go to file export. And then I'm going to select FBX down here. And what I'll do is I created a new folder here. So if I go to C, I'll go to desktop and I'll go to Omni and I'll just title this man talk and then I'll press save. And then I'll just make sure export animation is checked on and I'll don't need the cameras or any of the lights or anything like that. The texture, sure, I'll take it. But then again, I'll just click on export right here. And now what I have open is the VR 4D project. Now, obviously, this is just a project I have open. You can use whatever project you have. And to kind of showcase this, I'll just create a new level. I'll go to the basic level right here. And what I ended up doing was, since you probably don't have this project, I went ahead and downloaded a standard custom MetaHuman that I have. So you can see right here, I have some MetaHumans, and I pretty much just downloaded this right here, EV Tall, because I'm going to be retargeting that animation onto this MetaHuman. So with that being said, let's go ahead and go to the A2G folder that I created. It is completely empty. And then I'll go to that folder where I actually exported our Mantok. So I will click that Mantok and drag and drop it to a Neural Engine 5 content browser. Okay, and then for skeleton, I'm going to say no because I wanted to create its own skeleton. I'm going to scroll down and make sure import animation is checked on just like so. And then I'll also put 60 here because I don't want to wait forever. And after that, everything should be good to go and I'll go ahead and press import all.
Okay, I'll press clear right here and I'll close this out. And as you can see, the animation is kind of in the wrong rotation. So I'll go ahead and double click that. And then what I'll do is go to asset details. I'll pause it so it's not as confusing. And then the import rotation, I'm gonna go ahead and put 90 right there and I'll go ahead and re-import the animation. And that's going to fix that rotation issue. Now I'm hoping in video Omniverse will be able to fix this so we don't have to do this. But for now, it's okay. Just go ahead and press save and then minimize. And now we should be good to go. So here is our animation, press play, and now we have that animation in there. So that's good. So the next step is we're going to create an IK rig for this skeleton right here. So right click, animation, IK rig, and I'm just gonna go ahead and type in man talk because we're looking for that skeletal mesh. I'll click okay, and then I'll just type in man rig, all right? So I'll double click that now, and we have this character now, and you can kind of see the bones, which is kind of cool. But if you want to see the name of the bones, which we're actually going to need here in a second, you go to character, bones, bone names, and now you're gonna see all the bone names, and the fun really begins. So what we have to do is you're familiar with Unreal Engine 5 newbie targeting system. We actually have to create an IK rig for this skeletal mesh and skeleton. So what you're going to have to do is find out how to retarget these onto a UE5 mannequin or a meta human. So since the new update for meta humans, they actually now have an IK rig for meta humans so we don't have to create it from scratch. So I'm going to use that as a guide to kind of help me retarget onto a meta human. So I'm going to press content right now and then I'll go to meta human, common, common, and there's going to be an IK meta human. So basically the whole goal is what we have to do is we have to match the bone system from the meta human onto our man rig. As you can see, the, the bone names are not similar whatsoever. So the tricky part of this is actually going in here and taking a look at the spine, the fingers, the neck, so on and so forth, and create IK chains for it. But lucky for you, if you are a YouTube member of my channel, I'm going to just go ahead and make it downloadable as far as the IK rig that we're going to be creating. But if you're not, I'm kind of going to show you how to get started on how to do this. All right. So with that being said, we're going to take a look at the spine of this meta human right here. It starts right here, spine one. It's going to be highlighted right here. And it's spine two, spine three, spine four, spine five. There's five spines for a meta human. All right. So I'm going to go to my man rig right now, and I'm going to start counting the spines here. Now we do have spine, one, two, three, and then four. Now this four one right here, it's kind of going through the neck, but I'm going to go ahead and include that, so that's going to be okay. So from spine one to spine four, I'm going to right click and create a chain. And I'm just going to go ahead and type this into spine, and then press OK. Right, I'm going to save this because what I'm going to do is show you what I'll do after I do all of this. And it's going to make it a little bit better as far as understanding what we're trying to do. All right, so if I go back to A2G, I'm going to right click animation and I'm going to open a new IK retargeter. All right, and then for the rig, we're going to use the man rig because that's where the animations we're pulling from. That is the skeleton we're pulling the animations from. So I'm going to go ahead and man retargeter. I don't know how to spell. And I'll kind of make that bigger. And then in the target IK rig asset, where I want the animation to transfer to, I'm going to change that to an IK meta human. And as you can see, it is all jacked up because we only transferred the spine. So I want you to kind of see what's going on here. So if I go to the chain mapping now in this retargeter, you're going to see that every single thing is retargeted to a spine. So what we need to do, our job is we need to get the man rig to pretty much we target to these right here. So for example, for the spine, that's good. But now we need to go ahead and create a chain for the head. So I'm going to go to the man rig and I'm going to find the head. Now usually for a meta human, the head bone is up here. So you can see up here. But in the case of the man rig, the head bone is going to be FBX5 because or FBX6 because that is the furthest uh, as far as the head goes, that is as far as I can go before I go to the jaw and the eyeballs and so on and so forth. So what I'll do is I'll go to the IK meta human now and take a look at the head. So for the head, right? So I'm gonna go to the head. It's right here. It's go. It goes from neck one to head. All right. So I actually go from neck to head. So it actually goes from the neck one bone all the way to the neck. So in the man rig, it's gonna go from 
spine 5 or FBX5 to FBX6. So I'm going to go 5 and then 6, right click, create a new chain, and I'm just going to go ahead and make this the head, okay? So that's our head. Same thing here, we have the neck to head. So we'll take a look at the root now. So I'm gonna go ahead and go to this pelvis. And then what I'll do is I'll click the set the root bone to the pelvis, save that. And you're gonna see that that's gonna be good. The pelvis target root, so source root is pelvis FBX as well. All right, so our whole job again is to create as much chain as we can in here. Okay, so it looks like I have all the chains created right here. If you want to go ahead and pause this video so you can kind of copy and paste on whatever you're doing. Uh, but before we do anything else, let's go ahead and try this out. So I'll minimize this here. And then what I'll do is I'll open that retargeter that we created. And for the root, I'm going to go ahead and change this to root. For spine, spine's good. Okay, so it looks like we have everything. Now go ahead and press save. And then what I'm going to do is go to the asset browser now, double click that animation. And as you can see, we just retargeted that audio animation onto our meta human. Now, obviously, as you can see, there's a little bit of self penetration going on, but that's, you know, we can, we can go ahead and fix that in the sequencer, or if you want to, you can fix that in the animation details panel as well. But it's pretty cool. It's insane that we can actually create animations by just using our voice or audio. This is some crazy technology. And again, for a talking head, this is pretty darn good. Like those simple shoulder movements of like a head and shoulder shot, you can definitely use this for those. So I'm gonna go ahead and pause this right now and I'll save it because we're gonna go a little bit further because I'm going to actually apply this onto the meta human. I'll export this and I'll just put it in the A2G, press OK, save, minimize this, and, and then what I'll do is I'll create a new sequence just to make sure that it works. I'll just type in seek, and then I'll go grab that meta human that I downloaded, EV. I'll just drag and drop her onto the view here, all right? And I'll reset her so she kind of gets back in the middle there. And this is gonna compile some shaders as usual, but I'm gonna go ahead and click track add EV into the sequence, all right? Delete the control rigs. And then if I go to track, animation, Mantok animation retargeted. If I press play now, you're gonna see that meta human is now animating like it did in NVIDIA Omniverse. Pretty, pretty darn cool stuff. I'll press G to just kind of get rid of that. That's pretty cool. Now, again, if you want to test it out and retarget it to this VR 4D character, well, we can take a look at that as well. So we're not going to stop there. I'll just delete Eevee here. Yes. Now let's take a look at this makeup. We're going to go to the mesh. Go to this anim to play. We're going to look at the skeleton and see. Go to SK base right here. Then I go to Windows, Asset Details, and I'm going to say Compatible Skeleton. Meta human base scale. I'm going to add another one in there. The base scale from the meta human. So it's going to be meta human base scale up here. It's going to be this one because this is the one we downloaded and we just retargeted that animation to. So I'll press. That's good. I'll close this. And then what I'll go is go to the meta human now that we just retargeted that animation to. Is we're going to find the skeleton for that as well, which at the end of the day, a meta human skeleton is a base human skeleton. So I'll go ahead and search right there. Go ahead and minimize, double click, go to the skeleton, windows, asset details, and again, I'm gonna go ahead and add another one here, and I'm gonna put SK, base, okay? So now those are compatible. Now if I go to the mesh, animation, as animation asset, I'm gonna go to the man, talk, we now have that animation in there, all set up. So again, let's go back to the sequencer and just add this meta human here. I'll delete the control rig, delete all this. I'll just do it at a character mesh, man, talk, retargeted.
And as you can see, it works with the VR 4D because like I said, these metahumans have the same exact skeleton system. So we are able to retarget those as well. Well, that's pretty much everything I got for you all today. Like I mentioned in the video, if you're a member of the channel, uh, you can download the project so you don't have to create the crazy chains. Uh, if you want to support the channel, my channel is now enabled for membership. So go ahead and check that out by joining. I drop a lot of mocap stuff in there. Obviously, I'm dropping some files in there for you all to use. And it's really a good way for you to support me and at the same time, me support you. All right, if you all have any questions, let me know. And I'll see y'all later.